Video and audio files released by the state attorney's office today revealing intimate family conversations between the accused Seminole Heights serial killer and his parents. News Channel 8's Victoria Price has been sifting through the recordings, and Victoria, it sounds like they are supportive parents just trying to lift their son's spirits. Oh, Keith, absolutely. There's definitely a tone that Hal Donaldson's parents use in these recordings that you're about to hear that make it very apparent they don't view their son as the monster that many others do. It's good to see you, man. Good to see you. Good to see you all. After more than a year behind bars awaiting trial, Howell Donaldson told his parents during a January 20th video visitation that he was broken, both physically and mentally. I'm in pain every day. Donaldson goes on to explain that he wanted to see a doctor. In a hearing two weeks later, Donaldson spoke out in court for the first time asking the judge for help. Just me here talking to you guys, me me saying what what I'm telling you, you know, is, to a certain degree is not even, you know, in my control. And I, I want y'all to I want y'all to know that. You I know, understand. I, 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 I know what you're saying. Rosita and Howell Donaldson have found themselves in trouble with the law during their son's ordeal. A judge previously placed them on house arrest for refusing to cooperate with prosecutors. During this 45-minute recording, their love and support for their son never wavers. You know, these, 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 these dudes, they don't care here, man. They no, don't care. No, 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 but we care, and we're going we to do everything we can out here, son. Just know that, and, yeah. and we're going to win this. We're going to win this. Also released this afternoon, a phone call between Donaldson and his parents that took place earlier in January before that conversation. In that, the accused killer talks about communication issues with his attorneys and that he felt like everyone in jail was out to get him. Well, there's nothing here. They, were, he, they never talked about any of the crimes, whether he did it, didn't do it. I mean, again, it was just They don't this, even bridge uh, the topic. They don't even get close to it. In fact, mm -hmm. uh, they were very mindful. They even say in the conversations to be mindful that those are being recorded, and they have to be careful what they talk about. Mm -hmm. Interesting to listen to and see. Thank you, Victoria.